right. so uh, so you, you are saying develop uh, the power of understanding the vulnerability of people is that something that you are talking about that's absolutely it and uh, uh, I, I think one of the core things that a, that an engineer in our fifth year program uh, had to understand was the communication is, is critical and, and and it could be just in it in emailing and texting. I mean, most of our communication out not that way is done that way. I'll, I'll give you a, an example. I work for the NASA chief engineer. Probably, you know, from a technical standpoint, he was the probably had the held the most responsibility in the entire agency. Um, so you're talking, you know, space probes and rockets and airplanes and all, everything he was involved in. And I could send him an email at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday because something came into my brain, you know, and I just sitting there and I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to share this. At, by 2.15, I'd get a response, no matter where he mm. was. Um, mm. he, I, I, he could be in the headquarters building, and I knew there'd be an important meeting going on that he was either presenting or being part of. I could send him an, uh, an email or a text, and again, he'd take time out to, to, to respond to me. And I really felt uh, that I was part of the team that way, and he made me feel mm -hmm. part of the team. He made me feel important. But I can tell you, as far as communication goes, and of course you have to learn how to write well and you know, grammar, but th there's also that timing aspect of it. I can send somebody an email uh, maybe it might be a contractor that's working for me or uh, a coworker, and I don't get a response for two days or I send a text out and I, I don't get a response. And I'm trying to think, well, did I say something wrong in that email? Did I upset that person? Did I, <laughs> uh, you know, and th there is, there, there's a aspect of communication when a person doesn't respond. And I think a lot of young people, especially with text messaging, they, They'll read a text message and they maybe they'll think, well, I'll get back to it later. And they never do or they, they never respond. But the person on the other end has this feeling like, well, you either you, what I said wasn't important to you or I'm not important to you or uh, you disagree with me or you're angry at me. So um, there's like an underlying subtle way of communication um, that goes beyond the grammar and the, and the uh, uh, you know, the, the, the being able to write well. That I think engineers and I think anybody has to has to understand that aspect of communication. That that's that's critical. Um, uh, you, know, you have to understand uh, the, the the feelings behind you know somebody that's reaching out to you and taking a chance and asking you a question or and you know if you show up in their cubicle or their office two days later and say oh yeah sorry yeah that was a good email thanks well you know that that doesn't cover it. So I, I think you have to be, um, you know, have that kind of professional skill. And I always admired the chief engineer for always being available. I don't care what time of day or night it was. It made me feel important. He, he may have responded to me that he disagreed with something, but I got a response. So, so, so what you're really saying is it's just not, uh, you know, how you present your ideas. It's also about, the timing it's also about how you express that empathy for the empathy. person on the other side these are very very important and therefore necessarily that's something that uh, you have to have a sense of rather than just treat it like a flow chart and uh, as an equation or as a formula right that's that, what you are saying that's exactly it and you and you can get that kind of empathy when you understand people and when you read the when you read Moby Dick or you read some of the classics or you go out and waste time with people, then you kind of you, you become uh, a better you have a better ability to be able to communicate. So in this section, if you carefully observe, he also talks about the importance of timing and being responsive, and that is an underlying unsaid language of communication between people. And he says, if you respond on time and if you are responsive, it sends a message to people that they are a part of the team. And therefore, everything is not about, I did this task and so what's the problem? I've done it. But that's not how people look at 
relationships people relationships between each other are a lot more emotional and you have to appreciate the importance of being responsive and ensuring you spend enough time that has a big implication on building relationships and how work gets done